Captain's Log, Stardate 192.168.1.16. We have been f uh, stranded on the planet that I have been calling Factorkyo for a little while now, but our production base is expanding I would like to say exponentially but we have spent a lot of time sitting around and talking when I say we I mean me and my ever present science officer ZTech how are you doing my good friend I I'm good captain I I'm surprised you haven't included the friend Bush uh, that we started on the first day uh, but okay <laughs> I I it might have been already crushed by the industrial I, I, night. I think I think the uh, the lack of consideration when we were expanding may very well have, uh, have taken them out. Uh, we, we have so, some busy plans for today, but mainly involve trying to secure the compound that we have uh, put out here, the, 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 the area. You can see that I've put some markers on the map going around this area I, I don't know what to call what, what, what do we call the base that we've that we've made here we, we, we need is this uh, uh crash site this, yeah <laughs> crash site ground zero we could call it ground zero ground zero so we're, we're gonna we're gonna protect ground zero with a, a wall which i think we actually have a wall being produced somewhere did we did we make wall? Uh, the chest is completely filled with walls currently that is good so because the wall production like. is stopped uh, so yeah. are you gonna start from the top? I, I think we will. If we start at the top, work our way to the left, and then work our way down this left-hand side, we're gonna have a little bit of trouble by the time we reach the bottom, but I think we're all right, because I've managed to pick up several thousand bullets and, ooh, 137 grenades. I, I, I think my righteous might as a captain should be able to lead us through this one. What is going on oh. here? Okay, I see, I see. Uh, well, we can... Uh... I'm gonna bring some radars then, and we can put them along the wall. Ah, oh, yes, we should electrify the wall, put pylons down. Uh, so, Captain, uh, the plan is to secure the area, I'm guessing. The secure the area. Make sure that these eco-terrorists that call themselves natives cannot get back into our production area here at Ground Zero and cannot m ruin our day because of course we need all of this to make it uh, viable for us to escape the planet I, I hear that we can make rockets if we just keep keep on going down the technological prowess that is inbuilt in these suits of ours yeah if we keep on throwing enough uh, liquid science at it it might solve the problem well I, I've, I have assumed that what's actually happened is we have salvaged some uh, some AI scientists from the crash site and as we all know robots run off of alcohol and we're pumping in different scientifically infused alcohols to power the science robots I, that that definitely seems the most plausible of what's going down here <laughs> Well, I haven't actually done any re research into this field. Well, this one's introduced himself as Charles. This one is Richard. And we've got Zaphod <laughs> over here. Uh, like, yeah, I, I know these guys personally. They're, they're <laughs> they all enjoyed a good whiskey drink with me before before the crash. And somehow lost all of the memory of what caused the crash. I yeah, I mean, the, these guys don't remember, do you guys? They seem to have lost their capacity for speech. It's uh, it's a little uh, worrying. It's a little worrying. Right, let's uh, let's run our way up the top, and uh, whilst building the Great Wall, I, uh, I I have I have some advice to ask of you, science officer. Yes. So I recently received a. Uh, a, a disturbing piece of news. But before I get to that, I need to tell you the story of my father. Uh, my father was a, a, an asteroid prospector back in back in the early days before we managed to, uh, to to seriously get outside of the solar system and into intergalactic space. Uh, and, and his job was to go around, scan deep space objects, uh, categorize them, try and figure out the uh, correct routes. We could probably do with a radar. Have we got a radar here? We have got a radar here. There we go. Just wanted to fix that wall. I managed to put down the uh, the ghost of walls rather than actual walls. Uh. <laughs> um, and you know, he he was absent from gravity for a very long time. I, I think that's the way I'm going to put it. Uh, he was off in the void for decades at a time, uh, and uh, it, his ship had a, a rather advanced AI in it. I'm afraid all I know about her is her name is was Alice. Uh, 
Ooh, I've got a rock here. No, no, that's, that, that's cool. Uh, and uh, my father and Alice, they uh, they, they developed a, a little bit of a, a relationship, shall we say. Now, obviously, due to the biological restrictions that are placed upon human and AI, they, they had a little bit of problems when it came to the whole idea of... Con- oh, how to say this? Of moving their... Hmm, how do I say that? How, how do I... Information. No, 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 no. They, they wanted to have a kid. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's genetic information. Yeah, that, so yeah, they, they had a problem when they wanted to, uh, to, to to bring some offspring into the world and... Into the universe, sorry. Uh, because obviously, my mother, Alice, she had no biological parts. So my father and, and her went to a, a doctor, Dr. Wilhelm. Uh, who was a, a famed genetic scientist at the time, and he thought that he had the secret of personality. He knew what genes would bring out certain personality traits, or so he claimed, uh, and decided that he would help my father and mother bring myself into the world. Uh, he started with my father's DNA as a base, and then used his genetic talents to to give me some of my mother's personality traits as you can tell by my excessive organization and uh skills at running a ship it it all went off amazingly without a hitch but i received a letter last week uh telling me that he's actually copyrighted my dna sequence and I, I don't know what to do about that. He, in the letter, he says, I'm not allowed to reproduce. I'm not allowed to share my genetic material with anybody. No donations, no blood donor, nothing like that. And I've got to say, I'm, I, find my, I find it rather, rather intriguing that he would be able to do this. Now, I understand that the, the personality traits that he put inside me may very well be new new to the universe if you will but i i don't think so i think what he's created is just already available out in in the possibility space of dna and i'm not sure whether he should be able to to copyright that or not so i find myself at a, a, a bit of a problem here what 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 do i do about this do i do i try and challenge this or do i just accept that this 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 scientist created me the first question is yes does the AI own its own code? Uh, no, my mother Alice was actually owned by the uh, Mine Corp Corporation, uh, obviously. No, that, that's the, the great name there. So did the doctor have the right to edit and modify and copy the code that she was made out of? So he, his, his wording, according to this letter that I received, was that he did not copy, he emulated her functionality. Which I, I think is uh, legalese wording in the worst, but I, I'm not sure how we stand on that. Oh, we don't have power on this side. Do we not? Well, let's let's try and make that happen. Both I mean, uh, we're pretty close to the end of the uh, end of the the line over here on the right. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, si- since this time, the uh, the mining company has found out about my. Uh, my mother's and father's, as they are claiming, unnatural love. Now, I, I don't think any corporation has any any right to tell people how they should love one another. Because let's be honest, AI are people. Uh, there is no... I don't think anybody is alive today that does not agree with that statement. The doctor should technically own the rights. Mm, especially as he was, as he says, emulating psychological traits that may or may not have existed beforehand you know he he wasn't he wasn't copying nature he he made it himself but i am a conscious being i i don't know yeah so but the dna is not the one part that is conscious mm, so th- this is hard like do do i own the 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 stuff inside me or does the person okay 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 question yes does the hardware of a PC have the right to own software? I personally think yes, but uh, I'm quite a proponent of the uh, open source uh, model. Yeah but, not, yeah, but not all software is open source. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Like that. I, I, see, this this is the problem because legally, at least, it comes down to the producer of the software, right? Um, yeah. Now, am I allowed to then modify that software? Well... It's on my uh, machine. Oh, no. (laughs) Missed. Just going to do that. (laughs) 
what's that gonna do? <laughs> oh, do I have to rip it all up and go back up? <laughs> well, mm, just make a G turn here to the lake and down. <laughs> I, yeah, I guess. <laughs> there we go. That works. <laughs> Perfect. Nobody will know. No, nobody will ever. I mean, I am tempted just to run back. How much more do I have on me? Oh, actually, I might need to go back and get more wool. Wool at some uh, point. May I suggest just suicide running into that uh, sand dune creature? Oh, that over that. What the uh, the worm or the? Yeah, the worm. The worm. Okay, give me a second. I to... have grenades, so. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, good work. Ah, oh, it totally stole my conversation. Uh, oh wow, you appear to be in a bit of trouble there, science officer. <laughs> I... It's amazing that I could hold my machine gun in one hand and throw grenades in the other. That, that was pretty good. In fact, I didn't throw any grenades there. I need to put them on my hot bar. I'm gonna put them on number one, even though that's where my red track goes. Um... Oh. oh look, there's uh... more down there. So, oh, in hey hey, go, go away! Why are you coming after me? I didn't even look at you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow, they, they they just got angry over nothing. Uh, you are gonna die, science officer. Oh, that that was that's hardcore. That is hardcore. Wow. <laughs> oh, well, I suppose we're gonna put a wall across here. This this seems like I, a good spot. I guess, yeah. Uh, I just need to bring power and put. We, we will need to run back and put radar down, I guess. Uh, that's the problem with the current. Not current. You know what I mean. Yeah. Laws of copyright. Uh, the you even if buying software does not make you the the doesn't give you the right to reduce it. No, no, you can't reduce. But I, I'm I'm really not sure how the modification works. So if he has. If, if we accept that this, this Dr. Wilhelm has uh, the copyright of my DNA, or of, like the ownership of it, if you will, I mean, can I now go to another doctor and get genetically modified? What if I, what if I have these sequences written out of my sequence? There's <laughs> too many sequences there. But, but he wouldn't have the right to prevent you from uh, reproducing. Because you're adding more DNA, basically half of yours and the half of the other person's. So it's no longer the original code or DNA. It's, yeah, it's not the original, but, but it does use at least part of it. Yeah, but there is a limit on uh, the, the copyright, uh, copyright, copyright law. That's, I think, uh, say how much of something you can use, especially in codes, in code. Oh, are you talking about the uh, the mythical rights of fair use? Maybe. <laughs> uh, okay, I have run out of wool. This was not intended. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, may I suggest that we put down pylons for where we have and then put down radars on the way back? Yes, this sounds like a very good idea. So yeah, um, okay. all in all, I think I'm going to have to challenge this guy in court because he is claiming that I, I am not allowed to reproduce uh, underground, that he will not give the, 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 the license for me to redistribute his code using parlance that people can understand. Uh, let's put that one here. Oh, I've yeah, no realised I've been forgetting to do something very important. There we go. Lights. <laughs> On the way back. We oh, two. That's the... Hmm. It, it's quite a touchy subject and I don't think that... Well, the current law does not actually know how to answer this question no no as you say i think i'm gonna have to uh to to, to take this guy to civic court <laughs> civic space court let's let's get the name right yeah uh because it is as he you said that it's the first time it has ever been done successfully indeed indeed i, so, I am a landmark case captain i'm sorry i need to ask you how I just know that wouldn't work because the doctor is still alive, right? <laughs> the I was thinking, yeah. when does it become? When does the code become um, uh, open to the public? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. When does it become public domain? That that that's a very interesting question. I I should definitely look that up. Now it used to be 
used to be back in the very 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 old ancient times written on stone tablets that it was when the creator died uh, that they lost the claim of their copyright but with the inventions of these fictions that we call companies uh, people started transferring the rights to these companies and of course those companies never die so uh, the law did have to get rewritten i would say that uh, he shouldn't have the right to it I I don't know. Does the cop uh, is this the correct word? Ret retroactively work? Retroactively, uh, like as in in the past. Yeah, well, because he didn't have the copyright back then. Um, I I don't know actually. May maybe maybe because he spent thirty years not claiming his copyright rights. Yeah, he the... would lose the right to the copyright. Hmm. I I will definitely get my lawyer on that. Because you have been using it for the past 30 years. Yeah, I, and, and believe me, I've definitely given that genetic material away in the past. And because you have been using and existing with that genetic material with ever being, without ever being challenged on it, with stopping you on using or anything like that, he, I think he would lose the right. Wonderful. Without them, yeah. without them repeated, uh, without the company repeatedly uh, defending their own copyrights, they would lose their copyright uh, rights. <laughs> okay, so uh, we are close to finishing this corner, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we are actually very close to uh, running into the other wall. I might even go and start bringing that wall down rather than trying to trying to go up and meet it. In fact, where's the car? That that's a car job right there. And that, uh, I believe, Mr. Science Officer, <laughs> is a connected base. Let me put down the pylons on this end, and there we go. All pylons on this wall-ish are complete. We still need to connect them with the bottom wall. Yeah. To make it a full circle, I guess. It's always good to have a loop in case one bit gets broken. Hmm, it should hopefully push the map out a little bit. Yeah, I can still see new bits being made from the uh, Chuck Norris and Bromac terminals over there, the uh, the yeah. radar we have there. Oh, this is interesting. Where we've gone around the outside, there is the smallest sliver that we can't see out on the base. <laughs> I do must say, how, how did you get uh, that message? Uh, I, I received it through the same uh, subspace tele telecommunication system that I, I heard from my uh, my cousin the other day. You remember when we were talking about how he was having uh, troubles with people owning his server? Yes, but I, I'm just... So you're telling me you have a way of communicating with the outside world and we're stuck on this planet? Yeah, I mean, that, that's that's why we've been talking uh, to the uh, to the command unit. That's that that's that's who we're talking to right now. Uh, um. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they they're listening in on everything we do. And are they coming to rescue us? Uh, I am yet to hear any word. Um, if if I could, please please, could you tell us if you're coming to get us, please? <laughs> no, just silence. I, I assume I assume that the the. The records that I'm sending out there are getting to someone. I mean, I am getting some replies back. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. 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 But I think with that science officer, we have had quite the day today. Oh, we need to go and put some... Re hang on. Before I, before I properly end this report, we need to go over this way and pop down just a couple more radars inside the base. Uh, so I think here would probably be the best place. Probably. Mm, it's covered the majority of it. That that will do. The uh, the iron reserves. <laughs> <laughs> but with that, Mr. Z Tech Science Officer Sir. No, I'm the Sir. Uh, I, I think we have done quite a good day's work going around and defending the base, as well as spreading out the radar coverage. I, I can definitely see at some point we're going to have to go out and. Uh, enter into hostile negotiations with some of the civilizations that are existing around us. <sighs> I guess. <laughs> but with that, Captain's Log, signing off.